King News, my wonderful people, it is really sincerely happening. Mm, you will not believe this. Tinubu has made a mistake, and the mistake is coming back to bite him in the butt. Mm, the mistake is coming back to bite him in the butt because he's the one who went ahead and told Nigerians that they should not make another Buhari's mistake. He was the one who said it with his own mouth that Nigerians will be, will be damned if they go ahead and they make another Buhari's mistake. Well, we heard you loud and clear. Hmm? We did hear you loud and clear. So if you don't want us to make the Buhari's mistake, then we don't really want to make it. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Remember that Nigerians are the ones who will vote and decide what will happen. Okay? We don't want that mistake that we made. And we are still living, we were, we're still living consequences of that decision we made. So if Nigerians wants to ensure that that mistake is not made again, then let's rise up to the occasion. Let's ensure that we do not allow these things to become, you know, another distraction for us. Because whether you like it or not, Tinubu and the rest of them, they don't care about us. Let's get all the details. Tinubu, who mistakes made Buhari, warn us. Tinubu whose mistake made Buhari, warned us against another mistake. Nigerians are asking, you are the next mistake, right? Those asking for the whereabouts of Halaji Bola Met Tinubu are most kind to him. The supporters is that his media reminders have not told them it is none of their business that they should leave Tinubu alone. Businessman Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, who Nigerians are totally not sure what business is involved in, says he wants to become Nigerian's president, and Nigerians are particularly worried. So, what is important for Jagaban and why he has told Nigerians to be careful of making the same Buhari's mistake is that Nigerians also see him as a mistake. In the worst of all, Nigerians do not want to make that same mistake again. Nigeria, the former all progressive congress leader has continued to tell nigerians that the time for nigerians to ensure that they do not make the same mistake they once made is now again nigerians are watching and are saying we don't really want to make that mistake we want to ensure that we are out of the current mistake which ends may 27 2023 so Jagaban, who has determined to become Nigerian's president, has advised Nigerians not to make the same mistake again. Nigerians have said to him, we will not make the mistake. And that's why we're not voting for you again. For starters, a lot of people have wondered, do we want to continue with the president going to the UK, coming back, going back and forth? Do we want to continue with the president having his doctor abroad? Because this is another Buhari's, another Buhari's administration in what we can currently see. He, current, he carefully warned Nigerians against making another mistake, which Nigerians have vowed not to make. So we are very, we are very, we are very, we are very, uh, you know, we are very concerned. We don't want to make that mistake. We are, we are co completely concerned. We don't want to make that mistake. And he warned us. So APCs are saying that Tinubu, he made a mistake. He went ahead and told Nigerians that, you know, they should not make another mistake. But... Is he not a mistake? Okay. Is he not a mistake? So this is what is happening right now. Okay. This is what is happening right now. So Nigerians, we are watching and um, we will ensure that we, we stand up for what is right. We do that which is absolutely necessary to move us forward. You know, uh, campaign has started and um, we all just need to be careful. Please don't let any politician use you. I keep warning again and again. Those of you who allow yourself to be moved by politicians, to be used by politicians, by the way, you are deceiving yourself. Politicians do not have permanent friends or permanent enemies. They do things for themselves. Politicians do not care what's happening to you. They only are bothered about what's happening to them. They only are bothered about, you know, how things go and how things rule for them. They will tell you one thing today and by the end of the day you see them, they are still friends, they are still chairman, they, are still, they still work together. So don't get it twisted at all. Don't get it twisted. Politicians remain politicians irrespective of what you think. 
Okay? So please, don't get it twisted at all. Don't let anybody use you. Don't let them, be, you know, don't let them use you. Don't let that happen. Don't let that happen at all. We all need to be very careful. We all need to be very, very careful with, you know, all that is currently happening now. The days upon us are these where Nigerians must, you know, take that decision very carefully. Because these people, to a large extent, are only working for themselves. And if you are not careful, you'll see yourself, okay, being used. I remember um, the last election, you know, what happened to a young boy, very promising young man. Promising young man, what happened? He was rooting for one politician. I won't mention the name of the politician. And at the end of the day, you know how things can get very rough. The guy got shot in the leg and the leg was amputated. Do you know up till today? The politician himself not even know his name. He was one of those garage boys. He's using, he's not even using proper clutches. You know, they've, they've did this wood that they now, um, carpenters, you know, smoothing the wood so that I can aid him in walking. But from his knee down was amputated, amputated because when the gunshot came, they did not take care of it like they should and there was no proper healing. So the leg was becoming rotting and they had to amputate it. Does that politician know that guy? No. Somebody just went to the, uh, to the, the whatever and daddy and say, ah, guys, so job deal, you go do this, you go do that. The guy agreed. Yeah, the guy agreed. He did whatever he did. And at the end of the day, he has lost a leg. The politician is traveling abroad. His children are not even in Nigeria. He's looking after himself very well. Why things are the way they are. He's the one suffering from it. Can you see it? So now who die, lose, life continue. Yeah? Uh -huh. You say I'm the best person and you refuse to do the right thing. You will surprise it to go happen. Yeah? You will surprise say things go quickly turn. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Remember that every one of us must continue to, you know, speak out. We must take part in this election very well. We must take part to not sit down there and say, you know, consign me. You'll be shocked what will happen. You can't do that. You can't just sit back and say, it's not my business. When you are saying it's not your business, people are taking opportunity. Eh? They will just take opportunity and take, you know, take over. Before you know it, you are, you are left hung and drying. Remember, you have a voice. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. For most, it's bye for now.